RIT professor is out as Libya's prime minister less than a month after being elected. Mustafa Abu Shagor was given 25 days to form a government and that time ran out Sunday. YNN's Mike Dean is in our newsroom with reaction from the RIT campus. Mike. Well, Casey, Abu Shagor is a former engineering professor at RIT. Last month, he became Libya's first elected prime minister since the overthrow and killing of longtime dictator Muammar Gaddafi. I first met Abu Shagur five years ago when he was named president of RIT's Dubai campus. After years as a professor of engineering, Abu Shagur said he was looking forward to the new challenge and being closer to his native Libya. Last month, the Libyan people elected Abu Shagur prime minister. He was given just 25 days to form a government. Sunday, Libya's parliament voted Abu Shagur out of office, a move his colleagues at RIT believe was driven by those who want to retain control. I think no one could possibly establish a working government in such a little time. And as, my, as I understand it, he, he really presented two different uh, cabinets and both of them were turned down. So you see agendas and uh, different uh, motivations coming forward in, in all of that. After his election last month, Abu Shagur's friends at RIT said they knew it was a tenuous situation and were concerned for his safety, but they were hopeful he would do well. Right now, um, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I worry about his safety, um, but I also recognize that you know he has a, he's very idealistic and he uh, will continue to work hard for the good of the country. So I suspect that. Um, even though he's uh, no longer prime minister, he'll be working with uh, the very many people who are striving for a stable government to do whatever he can to achieve those goals. It's still unknown what role, if any, Abu Shagur will have in Libya's new government. RIT leaders say the door remains open for his return to either the Dubai or Henrietta campuses. Casey? Yeah, it could come back to RIT, maybe. All right, our Mike Dean reporting from the newsroom tonight. Thanks, Mike.